Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is a glorious day. It is the day of victory, day 41, the day after the 40-day holiness challenge. I hope that you have had a good run, that you have learned a lot, that it has blessed you, that the scriptures have come to life in your life, uh, that you have seen them become very real, very applicable to your world, to your soul, to your thoughts, to your actions, hallelujah. And may we all be surrendered over to the Lord evermore. Amen. As you guys know, if you've been doing the 40-day challenge, as promised from the beginning, I said at the end we would do a commun communion service. We've only ever done it once before in this ministry online. Uh, and so uh, I am blessed to, to be doing it once again with you guys. There's actually no better time to do it than after a 40-day challenge, in my humble opinion. So really, really blessed to have you guys here. Um, <clears throat> And if you are participating in this, this is a short video. You can always come back to this video and watch it if you'd like to participate in a communion again. And also we have a link in this that has a full description of what communion is, why it is important, and why we should not come to it with uh, a casual nature or a lightheartedness, uh, that we should perceive it as a serious thing. So there are two video links you will see in this description. One is uh, understanding communion, knowing about it, and the other one is actually another uh, communion service that's a little bit more in depth with some scripture. I have asked everybody to please watch those, uh, or at least the one that talks about why it's important and why you should be taken seriously. At least watch that one video before partaking in today's communion. Um, even if you've taken communion before, it's just for my own conviction so that when I stand before the Lord, I can say, yes, Lord, I explained it. And, uh, and so, you know, based on my accountability, uh, my, my hands are clean there. So uh, anyways, I am super grateful. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to ask a very small prayer for the Lord to come in and be in this fellowship and this communion today. And, uh, and then we'll get started. We'll have the bread, we'll have the, the juice or the wine, whichever you are having at your home. And, uh, and then we'll do a little blessing and then that will be it. It's a short video today, uh, but I do hope that you will be with us on Saturday when we do a Zoom call follow-up. And uh, it's going to be a follow-up to commune, like have a, a live video chat with all of you who have participated in the 40-day uh, challenge, whether it was a few days or whether it was a 40-day. Uh, I do want to welcome you to that Zoom call and we will record it so that way we can post that Zoom call also on YouTube uh, later on. So for people who are watching this recording, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is uh, harsh or raspy. All the talking I've been doing lately, maybe. I don't know. But let's pray real quick, as we have been doing every day. Almighty Jehovah, we come to you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, for there is no other name by which we can come to you. There is no other door, nor other doorkeeper or gatekeeper. Lord, you are the one and only. We thank you for the Lamb who died on the cross and whose blood washes us clean. We thank you for the 39 lashes that clean us from our sins and from our illnesses, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your, your freedom in truth. We thank you for the spirit of truth, the Ruach HaKodesh, that you have sent to us to live inside of us. As you said, so it was in Yeshua, so too will it be in us, and that we would be in you as he was in you. A promise, Lord, that we know our minds will never fully comprehend but hopefully one that our hearts rejoice every day more in gratitude. May we be changed, Lord, every day more, changed by your word, changed by your promises, changed by the understanding of the cross, and changed by your spirit living in us. And as we take partake in communion today, where we do uh, eat of your flesh and drink of your blood in remembrance of you, be in us, Lord, and grow in us, Nourish not just our bodies, but our spirits, our minds, our hearts, that we may be ever more of you and less of ourselves. The 40-day challenge, Lord, has been about surrender. It's been about decreasing so that you may increase. It's been about striving for the truth when we say the words, it is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in us. Lord, allow us to know your heart, to have your heart a servant's heart, Allow us to understand how much of an amazing blessing and honor it is to serve one another and not seek to be served ourselves. Lord, may we have all the fruits of the Spirit and all the gifts of the Spirit, that in us we may be glorified by you and in you and you glorified in us. 
Lord, just as you said you were in the Son. You said that it is glorifying unto the Father when we do his will and his will moves through us and pours out of us. Thank you, Lord, for that. Your promises are truly remarkable and immeasurable. So be with us today, whether people are watching this video live or recorded, and be with us as we go out after this video, that we may be truly filled with you, have new eyes to see, new ears to hear, and new flesh to feel with, your holy flesh living in us. Now allow us to experience the world as you do, and allow us to serve the world as you did. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray, and we give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Oh, he's a good father. He is a good, good father. Amen. Ooh, Abba. Mm -hmm. I love Yeshua. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read some scriptures. Uh, there's a couple different passages that churches might read. Today we're going to use 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 25, 26. And then we'll just do a little blessing at the end from Numbers. Okay. So <clears throat> if you guys have, you know, your bread or your cracker or whatever you have, uh, now is the time to get it ready. Hopefully you already have it. <clears throat> Man, what is wrong with my throat? I apologize, guys. My, my, I'm super raspy today. I have no idea what's going on. But it does make my voice sound deep, which is kind of nice. I might, have to, I might have to lose my voice every day. Okay. Serious now. Serious. Okay. Okay, be serious. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. All right. Whew, hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 11, 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Yeshua in the night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So we thank you, Lord, for the bread that you have given each and every single one of us, though we may be far apart. We know, Lord, that we are unified in your name, and that distance and time it's not something that, that stops you from our unity and our fellowship. So we break this bread, Lord, as your flesh was broken, and we eat it in remembrance of you. Go ahead and take it, and go ahead and eat. Hallelujah, amen. Mmm. Lord is good. In the same way, he took the cup also after the supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. Bless this juice, Lord, or this wine, whichever we are using. Bless it, Lord, to be your blood. We drink it in remembrance of the blood that was shed on the cross, and we drink it in remembrance of you for the life blood that you give us. We have no life unless we have you. In Yeshua's name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. And drink. Oh, it's juice. And it's super crazy sweet. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. People feed this to their kids. It's unbelievable. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So praise the Lord for that. This is a way for us to be renewed after our baptism, after our holy fire baptism. This is a way for us to renew our commitment and relationship with our Lord and Savior, a way to remember him and to proclaim him, outwardly expressing our faith uh, obviously, nobody would do this and partake in this if they did not believe that there is actually power in the word, power in the flesh, power in the blood, and if it wasn't, power in the cross. Amen. So I'm super grateful that you guys have participated with me today. Again, if you want to know the passages that were read today to do this, uh, you can see them pinned to the description of this video. And I would like to leave... Uh, leave on the on a note of a blessing one of my favorite and i'm sure one of your favorite blessings in the entire bible number 6 24 through 27 i leave you with this today folks for the summaration that's the word the summary uh i always make up words if you guys know me uh, uh for the summary of the entire 40 day challenge this is a part of it so i guess it's almost a 41 day challenge and then beyond <clears throat> but I pray this over everybody who has participated in it and everybody who's seeing this video live or recorded. 
The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. May we all be children of Israel through our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, and may we all receive that blessing upon us. You guys enjoy your day. Be a light to the world. Continue to shine. For if you don't, who will? Be the salt of the earth and never lose your flavor. In all that is the glory and promises of Yeshua be upon you. I'm Nathan Wheeler. We are Yeshua Network, and I love you with the love of Christ. Talk to you soon. Thank you for participating in this with me. It means a lot.